Scott. Rap legend and star of NCIS Los Angeles, LL Cool J. From Dexter, it's Michael C. Hall. And Grammy Award winning singer, KD Lane. From Hollywood, here's Rove McManus. Welcome to the show and happy Halloween, everybody! Oh, exciting, I love it! Halloween, of course, the day we celebrate Jesus turning into a pumpkin. <laughs> and... He was very impressive. <laughs> and uh, now, of course, for the Australians watching at home, you already know this, uh, but for the Americans, uh, you and the Canadian... Oh, easy. <laughs> we, um... We don't celebrate it as much as it's celebrated here, as is quite evident by the fact we have six pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, everywhere else, if you've been driving around L.A. or anywhere in the States, it's just going gangbusters for Halloween. My neighbourhood, they've gone all out decorating their front yards this year. There's skeletons hanging in the trees. There's fake heads on spikes and bodies scattered all over the nature strip. It's like hard rubbish day for murderers. It's brilliant. <laughs> It's great, because now I've finally got somewhere to dump the corpse of that Jehovah's Witness that's been stinking up a basement. Just chuck it out the front and just... wait for night time when everyone sneaks in. Oh, nicely done. Oh, it's a bit heavy. Uh, and there's trick-or-treating, of course, uh, as well. Uh, it's the one time of year when you're allowed to break every rule in the parents' handbook. Because, like, OK, kids, uh, it's getting dark, so... Off you go out into the streets <laughs> and make sure you take plenty of candy from all those strangers. <laughs> then come home and gobble it all up before bedtime like a good chubby diabetic. <laughs> uh, and if someone doesn't give you candy, you trash their house real good. <laughs> okay, have fun. Wow. Oh, and uh, don't forget to wear your Halloween masks from China. Uh, that's it, put it on. Breathe in all the lead and mercury. That's the way. <laughs> And the costumes, they're, they're really full on. And, and everybody goes all out, uh, except Lady Gaga. She just like dress, dresses in like tracksuit pants and a T-shirt and it's like, first prize. But <laughs> for everyone else, there's, there's no limit to the creativity or, or taste. Uh, as, yeah, like, adults is one thing, but the kids, they go a little bit overboard. This is a real <laughs> pimp outfit that you can buy in the shops. Now, if your child wears this, he doesn't need to go to the house to trick or treat. He just waits in the car while his bitches get the candy for him. <laughs> and... Oh, God. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> check this one out. Like, OK. <laughs> it's a little rabbi baby. Or a uh, rababy. And now, trust me, if you see a kid dressed like this, you want to give them a, a treat because their trick is circumcision. <laughs> Dick or treat? <laughs> um, and look at this one. This is someone's homemade one that they've done. Yeah, like, a little... Vicks Vapor Rub is not going to fix that. <laughs> and it's confusing because the kid's already dressed like a chicken. <laughs> So why the alien add-on? Unless, of course, looking at the kid's face, maybe it's not part of the costume. <laughs> and uh, most frightening of all uh, is uh, this costume that we bought. Like, we had, to, we had to drive two hours today to get this costume. It's completely sold out in all the stores, sold out online. It's the number one seller this year. Uh, would you please welcome our uh, model for this evening with... This is quite seriously the number one selling costume at Halloween this year. <laughs> And it's like, it's the most popular uh, item for kids to be wearing this Halloween. Like, who would have thought, dressing as a dunny to go to a party, that you would bump into someone else and go, ah, oh, they're wearing the same thing. <laughs> uh, and I do love the fact that it has a toilet paper accessory, which makes me worried that this thing actually works. Uh, now, you should be careful as well while you're out uh, partying at Halloween. Just be very careful where you rest. 
Because <laughs> if you sit down for too long, someone could mistake you for a real toilet. So you could just practice now. Put your hands up to your face and go, don't, don't, I'm just a kid. Don't, don't, I'm just a kid. <laughs> <laughs> in front of my accent? Okay, good. I'd be worried this poor kid will get his head flushed down the toilet by the end of the night. Uh, but I will say thank you very much and we'll send you on your way. Well done. Great job, our toilet paper model. Um, interesting fact, uh, that kid's name is actually John. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just joking, it's not. It's Dennis. Dennis Shittington. <laughs> A treat, it's these guys. Ah, oh, they would prefer to stay to John. I get it. Okay. You know him from six feet under in Dexter, it's Michael C. Hall. She's a Grammy winning singer, has sold millions of albums. Our good friend Katie Lang. And hip hop star and actor, it's LL Cool J. Hey, everybody. Look at that. That's a bounty. Isn't it, though? Yeah. Now, being from Canada, is it as big in Canada as it is here? Yeah, pretty much the same, yeah. I, uh, I did my first uh, jack-o'-lantern uh, carving last night, and uh, I would like to show you guys. <laughs> I'm a little bit proud of it. Okay. Have a look. This is, this is my... I did that one. Wow. Very good. Classic. It is. I went yeah. very classic. Classic. Straight up. Yeah. Wow. And uh, I had it outside, and quite seriously, this morning... Uh, Real candle? Or? Yeah, it was. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And this morning, something had eaten it. Really? And, yeah, his tooth got taken well, out. Australians, <laughs> Australians eat pumpkins more than Americans eat pumpkins. We do, actually. You eat a lot of pumpkin over there. It's great. You mash it up. It's yep. crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. I actually have been looking up online as well about how people can make pumpkins, how they can carve them up and stuff like that. Right. And there's this great guy who's got this instructional video uh, that uh, well, kind of shows you different ways of being able to destroy pumpkins. Really? Well, check this out. We showed you 10 effective methods for killing pumpkins last year. Since we're all about education here at the compound, we're going to show you a few more this year. Enjoyed this educational video. <laughs> educational. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of ideas for your character there. Yeah, yeah. I've never blown anyone up. <laughs> Still a chance. Yeah. Now I have a confession to make uh, with a member of the group. I need to apologise. Uh, prior to the show, I'd like to say hi to our guests, make sure everyone's feeling comfortable. And I got a little bit too excited when I met LL Cool J. Um, <laughs> Because when I left the room, <laughs> I just, I just, can I, can, would you mind standing up so I could recreate it? Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if you remember, but I said, yeah. oh, thanks for coming on, have yeah. a great time. And I went like that. Yeah. And I turned away and just went, can I touch that again? <laughs> it's, that is. That's funny. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. It's not a tricep, that's a four What did you say about a, a pumpkin? <laughs> 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 All right, let us use this to get to know each other a little bit better in getting to know you. All right, Michael, you are known for your skill with a scalpel on Dexter, but you actually did work in a hospital. That is correct, yeah. I worked in the recovery room of the OR. Basically, it was my job to keep the uh, nurses' stations uh, stocked with warm towels and uh, syringes, actually. And uh, I, would, <laughs> I would take people back to their rooms after surgery, after they were um, coming out of anesthesia. And uh, I didn't really like it. I didn't like working in a hospital. Um, I think the most unpleasant thing about it was uh, people's breath after they've been <laughs> intubated for that long. I would oh, take really? people back and often they would just be waking up. They would be in this really small elevator. So I had no choice but to be directly below them and they would wake up and... <sighs> and exhale. <laughs> And it was just like, and you don't, you know, they're waking up. You don't want to, you know, their, Come first, on. their first image to be you breath. vomiting on their face. So. so I tried, but yeah, I did. I worked in a hospital. Okay, KD. 
You've sold millions of records, but uh, I was actually surprised to learn you were supposed to be a mechanic. I was supposed to be a mechanic, yes, according and to And my... how, how were you supposed to be one? Well, you know those tests that you take in high school, those aptitude tests? Oh, like for mm -hmm. the career guys? Yeah, I was either supposed to be a secretary or a mechanic, so that pretty much explains a lot to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. Right. My, my gender orientation is really off. If I ever have a broken typewriter, I'll... <laughs> Thank you. So, are, are you any good with tools at all? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I had a motorcycle since I was nine, and I took it apart every year and put it back together. So you've, together. you've put it to good use at the very least? Mm -hmm. any, anything you need, Rob, just call me. I live <laughs> not too far from you. Well, I, I have no idea how anything works, so that would be very helpful. Then I'm your man. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know it. You know it. Yeah. Can I steal your tricep? Can I steal your tricep? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. You, yeah, all right. The games begin. <laughs> Take your time. Don't worry. We'll get there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you're a rap pioneer, of course, and star of NCIS Los Angeles. And you have a pet dragon? Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I, you know, I bought it for my daughter, but I ended up inheriting it because she thought it was disgusting to feed him. Oh, what, what, what a, kind of, what a bearded kind of? dragon. A bearded dragon. Oh, like a, a lizardy, lizard. lizardy. Yeah, he's a lizard. Right. His name is Miles. Miles. <laughs> yeah, it is. Miles Cricket Smith. And, um, but now he's mature, so he's too lazy to chase after the cricket. So I bring him worms and, you know, he just sits there with the remote, basically. It's, it's funny. <laughs> it's cool. I, I didn't know you could have lizards here like that. Like bearded dragons, I know you get them in Australia. No, yeah, yeah. No, I, didn't, I have the real. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not if anyone else. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're going to take a break. Uh, we'll be back with more right after this. <laughs> 